hi everyone today i'm gonna teach you guys how to write uh, a letter in english so it's gonna be part of um let's say you are a newcomer or uh, an immigrant and then you have a new place to live and then you end up moving to a new apartment or a new house and then you want to update your new address okay and then maybe let's say you have a new job and then you want to update um uh the employment information to an uh, immigration officer so i'm gonna explain to you guys how to write a letter okay eh? salut mes amis j'espère que vous allez très bien dans cette leçon nous allons donc voir ensemble comment écrire la lettre en anglais mbote na bandeko nous pour ça kolana nga lelo na ko tang sa bino to ko coach bino ndengi ni ba komaka mukanda na anglais so vous avez mis tout dans votre langue et on ne sait pas répondre bien merci mini so what i have to do here i'm gonna create the folder eh okay? i'm just gonna create a folder okay? so i'm gonna do this on my uh, i'm just gonna bring this here i'm gonna do this right here on download okay? so i'm just gonna right here and then i'm gonna click right here i'm gonna call this session Canada, okay so we're just gonna write something to them okay so we're gonna update some info so we're gonna click inside okay and then here i'm gonna go right here where i have my stuff and then i'm gonna click on this one here i'm gonna call the e in canada okay i'm gonna double click on it and I'm gonna see this one right here where I'm gonna write. Okay? I'm gonna write right here. Now is make a little bit bigger. Okay? Now I'm gonna write my name, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna write where I live. So Okay. So something like this, okay? Just I'm just does I have to be like my real address? I'm just putting something like this. That way you guys going to have an idea, okay? So this one is my name, the one I put here, okay? For you guys to understand, okay? So um yeah, so I'm going to put that and then I, don't forget to put I'm going to put uh, the date. Today is Sunday, for example. And when you're typing, okay, okay, this is right there. Just enter. It's gonna come there, and then I'm gonna put uh, the immigration address. In some situation, if you don't have it, it's okay. If you don't know it, but in this case, I'm just gonna create something like that. Okay. So let's say. Uh, And let's put uh,
So something like this. So in Canada, we call this postcode, okay? So, yeah, so let's see. Something like this. This is good enough. Okay. So this one is not really address. I'm just giving you guys an example in case you want to write to immigration officer. Okay. So I'm just giving you guys an example. It's part of uh, uh, pre-writing. Okay. So I just want to show you guys. Okay. So yeah, let's say maybe... Something like this. I'm okay? just giving you guys an example. Now, um, by this one. So this part is the one we're gonna talk about. Okay. So oh, you don't have to write like this. You cannot just put like you can just put like this. Okay, so if you take a look when I write there's a mistake, just click there, it's gonna fix it. Okay. So you're gonna focus on this. This is the one we're gonna talk about because you wanna let them know your new address and employment, okay? The one you have, something like that. Okay. So there we go. And then here you have to be um you cannot use the street language because it's not that great. It's gonna cause a problem, okay? So here we're gonna start like this here okay you can put comma it's okay some people also yeah you can put like this it's okay but if you don't know the person if you don't know the person in this case let's say we don't know the person we're just gonna put immigration Canada because we don't know the person. We're just gonna put immigration Canada because we don't know, right? Here, what we have to do here, we're gonna write, uh, you see it's right there, right there, enter, is what we need, okay? Because we don't know the person, okay? So, we come here and Instead of you repeating your name over and over, you can just write something like this. Let's see. Okay. So, because when you're new to Canada, right, you don't know much about uh, the language. Let's say, you know, you don't speak English that well. You have you don't have a lot of knowledge, you know. You want to write something that you know to let them know that your new um your uh, new address and employment. So you struggle with the language because back in the day I faced the same problem, right? So here I can say I'm happy. You see this sentence? I can just write of it. I can just write it down, right? I can write it down. I'm gonna write like this to show you guys okay and i can say i'm happy okay i can say i'm glad glad okay the same sentence i can say put here i'm pleased okay and write like this okay here i can fix it for you okay Okay. One, uh, I can also write like this. Okay, let's put uh, like this. Okay, this one is a French. The French, this one we borrow from French. Okay, so when you take a look, if I wanna fix this, okay, when you take a look, um, you read this sentence here. Okay, when you read them. 
Okay, I'm just gonna pull like this for you guys to see what I'm talking about. It's a part of uh, of writing, okay? But I wanna show you guys how you can change it and use a strong. Um, it's, you can just click here, or it's okay. You can just wait. Okay. Now. When you take a look, it's the same sentence. I just changed them, but some of them look weak. Some of them strong. So I can keep, the, you see, I can keep this one. It's all right. I can keep this one. It's all right. But when you see this one, we don't use it that much anymore because uh, you see the letter P? Eh, it's not good. You see this letter here? Nah. So because uh, each year or after a couple years, the vocabulary change, okay? So we want to use something that a little bit stronger, okay? So what I can do, I can read of this. There, nothing is wrong with these sentences, okay? They are great, but I don't want them. So I can just read of this. I can keep this one. It's okay. So in this case, we're going to use the one on top, okay? So we're going to use this one, all right? Because it's a pre-writing, okay? So... This one, and then we're gonna add uh, some sentence there. I mean, uh, yeah, so. So. You're going to put like this is okay. Or you can just read off. You can just put a somber. You can put like this. You can pull that. Okay. It's okay. Or you see the, or let's say, I should be okay. But we're just going to leave the way it was. Okay. You can leave that. Okay. Okay, so here we can change it. Now, you see here, there's a mistake on it. So we're getting rid of it. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys my the other course. Because we have a software, when you're writing, it can help you too. In case you're a, new, a newcomer and you struggle with the vocabulary, I'm going to show you guys how to do it in my the other course. Okay, so um, now this is, the, this is what we wrote. Now, in some situation, let's say you live with your husband. You have a husband. Okay, and kid. So this sentence we can change it. So I can copy this. I can copy this one, and I'm gonna paste it right there. Right. So we can change this. You can say here, my husband, or you can say my wife, and I, and I have been living at a new address since 2020, uh, since December 24, 2022. Okay. You can put this. Now, you want them to know what the address you're talking about. Is This is the one. So we have to let them know. Or if you want, you can change this. Or we can change this. We can put like this. My wife. Wife. I yeah, have been living at new address since blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you can change it. Or I mean uh, my husband, sorry. So here is my wife. This one is my husband. Okay. So this, both of them are correct. Are right. Okay. So now I just want to show you guys in case you struggle. Okay? So we want to let them know this address. What are we going to put here? We need to write something above. So. Instead of you repeating this address here, write them here, you don't need to repeat that. So we have to write something there. Now, I'm going to show you guys when you type, when you want to show them what you're talking about. In this case here, if you take a look, we're talking about the 
address. Okay. So you want to let them know your new address. So we can just say. Okay. Oh, you can so you can wait of that. Okay. So my new address is under my full name, this one. Okay. But it's a pre-writing. Okay. You don't have to write like to show people that you, you know you know English well. This is a pre-writing. Okay. So now we wanna hear what we can do here. We're gonna write new address. Okay? New address. Okay, so new address. And we're gonna write this. This is the new address. Now we're gonna write employment. This is the one. And this is the one we're gonna talk about. Now, there. So, same thing. You see this sentence? This one, we can change this. Okay, now, I can put, I can write here. Oh, yeah, something like this. So something like this, okay? Now, uh, let's say, yeah, here you can just write... Uh, Okay, so when you take a look, there's a mistake there, but it's going to fix this for you. So you just want to write something, you know, just to show them that your information you want to update. Okay, so I'm going to explain to you guys later on in my computer uh, courses how to, uh, to correct uh, like the spelling mistake, you know, because we are human. In some situation, you can forget, right, because we are busy. Maybe some of you work in manufacturing. Maybe some of you work in an office. You just new in Canada. You have to learn the language. So it's really hard, okay? So when you're writing in some situation, you see here, you can put like this, right? But in this case, we don't have to do this. In this case, we just leave it the way it is because there's a different type of writing. We have a different uh, style of writing, okay? But in this case, it's a little bit different, okay? So I want you guys just to see, um, just to write something to your, uh, or to your immigration officer, okay? In case you, you don't know the person uh, you're writing to. And I just want to give you guys uh, the knowledge, okay? Now, when you write this, you're done, okay? When you write this, you're done. What you can do, you can uh, save it, okay? You save this. So you have to look at it, double checking, like spelling mistake, you double check, everything's okay. And then I just make this a little bit bigger for you guys to see, okay? You guys to see, okay? And okay, so it's okay now. Now we're gonna save it, okay? So we're gonna save this, all right? So if you wanna save this, we're gonna go to, um, this is not a computer, uh, it's not a computer courses, okay? Just to show you how to write, okay? So if you have, if you wanna save it, you have to go here, okay? You click here, and then you're gonna go here, save as, or you save here, okay? So in this case, I'm gonna save as, okay? So when you guys take a look, I save this as a PDF, okay? It's right there, the one, the letter we wrote to immigration, okay? If you make a mistake, it's okay. This is what we wrote, okay? This is what we did, okay? This is my name. This is where I live. 
this is my address okay now if you have a phone number you can add your phone number okay if you have it let's say for example i want to add my phone number okay we're gonna add our phone number i'm just gonna go back i'm gonna go here and then i'm gonna put my phone number okay okay Okay, so that's my uh, my number. If you have an email, you can also add an email. Okay, just put like this. Huh? And let's say Okay, something like this. All right. So I can just write something like this when I finish and then I save it. Okay. Now you do the same thing I did. In case you know you want to read of this, you don't understand this, you want to read of this one, right? Right. In some situation, you want to read of it. Sorry, you want to read of that? You can read of it like that. Okay. But there's another easy way to do it. When you finish, you save it. Okay. You go here. Okay. And you save it here. Okay. So, so this is what we wrote okay so this is what we did and this is the one but the thing there's a gap here there's a gap okay there's a gap so we're gonna fix it you know when you start writing there's a there's a way your your text doesn't have to keep going down no we have some of the stuff here okay here we have a different stuff we have the page break we have a blank page uh, uh, here. So instead of me like pushing like this, you see like the way I'm pushing like this, right? Going down? No, I don't have to do that. No, just in my the other course, computer course, I'm going to show you how, how to do it, okay? I don't have to keep pushing like this. No, 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 no. It's going to do it automatically for me, okay? By pushing like this, I don't have to do it, okay? So on my the other course, I'm going to explain to you guys how to do it, okay? So uh, I can just go here save as okay and then uh, so this is the one okay so and and this is the uh this is what we wrote but when you take a look i was we done but it's not really done you will have to say at least something like thank you at the end you know we cannot just write like this okay so we, we want to say something nice at the end okay so so here right we can just write here like something like thank you just something like that thank you so much okay okay now when we when i start teaching you guys uh english academics yes we're gonna change the way of writing but for now they're gonna understand you're a newcomer they know that you when you speak to them, your your language and behavior is a little bit different. But something like this, it's okay. When we finish, we go back, okay? When you finish, we do the same thing, okay? We go here and we're going to save it, okay? So this is what we wrote, okay? So in some situation, when you look at it, um, some of you may, you know, when you are new, don't panic. Okay, this is good enough. Now, you want to sign it. You want to sign. My advice to you guys, don't sign the paper you don't understand. Okay, don't do it. I don't care what, if you have a master, bachelor degree, PA, uh, bachelor degree, master, PhD, don't sign the document you don't understand. Okay, just write your name. Now, we want to write, the, you want to sign here. How do you sign from here? There's a way you can do it, okay? There's a way you can do that. You see here? You can come here. You see this one? 
you can choose whatever color you want to do but don't don't choose red don't do that so you can come here click there and then i can just write my name eh? i can just write my name right there eh? good enough that's good enough okay that's fine they understand it and then you come here you see here you have one here you have another one here okay you can just click save that's good enough or save as it's okay too you can just do it that's okay or if you wanna new you wanna make another cup of it you can just click one it's gonna be another one and you come here and you click there you have like two of them okay now we're gonna close it okay make sure you save your stuff and then we close this we don't need to save it okay now your document is right here now we have the one here and we have another one here okay if we click on this okay it, this is the one we just write it's right there so i'm gonna stop here for today so it's a part of a uh, pre-writing okay it's a part of a uh, pre-writing if you don't get it it's okay so thank you so much you guys take care bye bye